So here's the million dollar question. Can Flex Seal liquid rubber fix my suitcase? I don't know, but we're about to find out. So this is more than just a, let's see what Flex Seal liquid could do for funsies. I actually love this suitcase. This is a Burton suitcase that I've had for going on 15 years. This thing is huge. It splits in two. It's not 100% two separate bags, but I am definitely not ready to part ways with it. And it has plenty of usable life left if I can fix the bottom here. So it has a heavy duty rubber coating on the bottom right here with some plastic bits and stuff like this. And a couple of years ago, it really just started to heavily degrade. It'll scuff, it'll leave marks. It's on my shoes. It's on the walls, it's terrible. It's kind of like uh, your golf clubs. When they get too old, the rubber grips just start to fall apart and they mark everything up. Exact same situation here. So I'm willing to throw a $20 can into it, but I'm not looking to restore this back to its former glory or do any more than 40 or $50 worth of work to it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna lay this down. I'm gonna lay down a single coat. This is only a 16 ounce can. Okay, it's about $20. You know, this price is a little bit expensive, but if it works, it works. And I'm hoping I can only throw a single coat on. So I'm gonna lay it down. I'm gonna do the main area first. I'll come around the corners and in the end, we're gonna see what happens. So let's take a look at the suitcase beforehand. This is what it's always looked like in general. It had a soft rubber kind of feel to it, but now it's all starting to flake, come up and fall apart. All right, so the first coat is done here for the bottom piece at least. Um, goes on pretty easy, has a thick honey-like kind of consistency. Yeah, it looks like there's an empty spot there, but it's not, it's coated. So I feel like I got a fairly you know, even coat overall. So we're gonna see, I'm gonna let this dry for a day. We'll see, maybe I'll put a little touch up spot right here where it looks thin. Um, yeah, and then we'll report back. All right, so here's an update. It's time to slap on some other coats. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna do this side now, which hasn't been sealed. So that's gonna get its first coat, right? I did the other side last time. So this got its whatever uh, seal. So it's got one coat and then I went with a heavy hand up here. So this is probably like two coats worth on this bottom side, which is gonna see uh, the most issues typically if I take it on a trip, although the sides could too. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna put another s second coat or a third coat here with a heavy hand. So that could be technically five coats, depending on how thick I pour it. We'll get this first one on. And then at a later point in time, I'm gonna have to come back and do these the sides once again uh, separately. So I think seal the side for the first time, heavy, another heavy hand on the bottom, and then that should be good to go as is. But right now it's kind of, it's got this super interesting, obviously it's like slick rubbery feel, but nothing's coming off too much, but we're gonna have to see what happens with that. But uh, definitely much better than when we started. All right, so the suitcase is done. I just wanted to bring it out into the sunlight so we could get a better look at it. Yeah, and see the way that the sun reflects off of the rubberized compound. You can see we got some brush marks over here on the sides, but who really cares? I mean, but we've resealed it. It's not flaking off, it's holding up, which is pretty amazing. So let me turn this down a little bit more here so you can kind of get another perspective. But um, yeah, so we did three heavy coats on the bottom, which would probably see the most um, friction if I take it on a trip. Yeah, you know, we got two heavy coats, so well, as heavy as it can be on the side because eventually it would drip if you didn't keep it flipped on its side. Um, but yeah, it feels like nice and thick. It feels like everything is sealed on the inside. Uh, how long is it actually gonna last compared to where it came from or where it was? I don't know. Um, if I had to do this again, I definitely would. Uh, you wanna make sure you do it in a well-ventilated area because it does smell like a tire shop <laughs> times two. So it is winter time here. I did uh, do it inside the kitchen really quickly and then I would shove it out in the garage, although it is 40 degrees out. But aside from that, I mean, I think $25 for a one quart can is a pretty good deal to try and save a piece of luggage. And obviously you have a bunch of other options on what you can do if you're using it for other crafty purposes.